Chemotherapy Chemotherapy is one of the modalities used in the treatment of cancer patients, often in conjunction with surgery and radiation therapy. Cells in the body grow and divide according to the normal cell cycle, which is controlled by the nucleus. The genetic material or DNA inside the nucleus contains the information necessary to execute this process. If the DNA in the nucleus gets damaged, it either repairs itself or sends instruction to the cell to die. In the case of cancer, the portion of the DNA that controls cell division is altered, resulting in the DNA unable to repair itself or instruct the cell to die. This causes the cell to grow and divide uncontrollably, creating multiple copies of itself called cancer cells which displays normal cells to form a tumour. As the tumour increases in size, it also begins to develop its own blood supply. As cancer cells do not adhere to each other very well, compared to normal cells, they tend to break away and enter the nearest blood vessel, thereby spreading to other parts of the body, in a process known as metastasis. Other common metastatic sites include the lungs, liver, bone and brain. Metastasis may also occur through the lymphatic system with cancer cells entering the nearest lymph vessels from which they migrate to the lymph nodes and the rest of the lymphatic system spreading the cancer to the other parts of the body. Chemotherapy works by selectively targeting fast-growing cells, which is typical of most cancer cells, causing the tumour to shrink because of the decreased cell division and death of the cancer cells. Most chemotherapy drugs act systemically by entering the bloodstream to reach the metastatic cancer cells at various organ sites. However, as they are unable to tell the difference between a cancer cell and a fast-growing normal cell, they often end up attacking normal cells such as those of the bone marrow, digestive system and hair follicles. Common side effects of chemotherapy include 1. Frequent infections because of a weakened immune system 2. Diarrhea 3. Nausea and loss of appetite. 4. Hair loss. 5. Bruising and anemia. The objective of chemotherapy is to reduce or eliminate cancer cells in the original tumor site as well as in the other sites of metastasis. Chemotherapy may be either a primary or secondary means of cancer treatment along with surgical excision and radiation therapy. Chemotherapy drugs may either be given systemically through pills, capsules or liquids administered orally, intravenously or intramuscularly or locally such as through catheters for tumours in the chest or bladder, injections into the CSF or as slowly dissolving wafers after the tumour has been removed. Chemotherapy drugs are often used in combination in order to increase their effectiveness and are generally spread out over a period of weeks or months to enable the body to recover between treatment cycles as well as to kill as many cancer cells as possible. Chemotherapy patients are often advised the following 1. Adequate rest 2. Nutritious diet 3. Medication to minimize the side effects